All right, everybody. Oh, happy day. I hope you're doing extremely well. So I want to share with you a problem. Yes, a problem with 68 cent Facebook leads, right? You're like, oh my goodness, quit complaining. My leads cost way more. Well, I want to get down with you and really dive into why 68 cent Facebook leads can sometimes be the problem because there's more to the story than just getting something cheap. Let me tell you, things that are cheap will cost you more, okay? We don't buy cheap toasters from China, do we? Because they'll burn your house down. Sorry, China. Truth stings, okay? So when you come to a place where you're like, you know what? I just need cheap, cheap, cheap like a bird when it comes to leads. I'm not saying that low-cost leads aren't amazing, but there's a point in time when you've got to understand you need more buyer intent than a 68 cent Facebook lead. Let me share with you. I've got agents that partner with jasonfinalexpense.com across the nation. We do amazing things together. Okay, we work like a team. We're like a work family. I partner with agents all over the planet. And let me tell you, I recruit agents nationally as well. So if you need help, reach out jasonfinalexpense.com. But by your intent is important. You've got to understand cost per acquisition. Cost per acquisition is powerful in insurance. How much did it cost you to acquire your prospect that turned into a sale? You've got to understand that when you're paying for leads with buyer intent that is super low, let me tell you, you can design your own Facebook leads. You can have tons of appointments that are ready to rock but it doesn't matter if the buyer intent is so low because they thought it's like a blood pressure medication and has nothing to do with insurance. Buyer intent needs to be intentional from you, the agent, when you're doing your own Facebook lead campaign because you can get leads as low as 68 cents. I've got my goodness, amazing agents that partner across the nation. I've got an agent that did 51 leads, 68 cents is what it cost him per lead. Had six preset appointments, but let me share with you, buyer intent, extremely low. And let me tell you, if you want to stick and stay in this industry, understand the difference between just a really cheap lead and CPA, which is cost per acquisition. All right, everybody. So if you're running a Facebook lead campaign, it will actually cost you more time, effort, and energy to use a really dirt cheap lead. Yes, you're going to have cannon fodder, everybody, but you won't be as accurate in acquiring your target audience, which is your client, the sale. When you prospect, you've got time or you've got money, okay? If you have an insane amount of time, then fine, get a cheap, cheap lead, get a bunch of aged leads. But let me tell you, a 68 cent Facebook lead has about the same buyer intent. Honestly, you guys, as a aged lead that you can purchase sometimes for as cheap as 58 cents a piece that are DNC scrubbed and TCPA compliant. So making your own Facebook leads is a blessing, but it can be a curse if you don't increase and turn up buyer intent, which will help your cost per acquisition. How much does it cost you to acquire your consumer? I would rather pay it more money and acquire my clients. If you think about it this way, if it costs you, let's say, $100 in leads to acquire a client at 100% commission, let's just say this client was $600 a year of annualized premium, okay? $600 a year of annual premium to you, the agent, if you're 100% commission, if you get an advance because it was checking business at, let's say, 75% advance, you would actually get $450 deposited into your bank account if you sold a 600 AP. That's not a monster case, you guys. We're talking like less than two bucks a day here, okay? We're not talking about a big case, but if you capitalize on that client and help them get what they want, you sold one client, how much would you pay to have $450 deposited into your bank account? That is your cost per acquisition. How much does it cost you to make that magic happen? If you're chasing, okay, the cheapest lead, 
Yes, you can get cheap, but it will lead you as an agent on a wild goose chase. You're going to have so many, okay, leads coming in with such low buyer intent, you're going to have to leverage your most valuable asset, everyone, and that is your time. You can't get your time back. You just can't. That genie won't go back into the bottle. So make sure you understand what cost per acquisition is all about. And oh, by the way, understand buyer intent. If the intent of the buyer is higher and it costs you a little bit more for the lead, you will get a better consumer, an easier transaction, and it will translate to more savings to you than had you bought an expensive, okay, maybe make your own Facebook lead campaign, which is great. I'm a huge proponent of making your own Facebook lead campaign. But if you've been led on a little wild goose chase of go with low buyer intent lead platforms, let me tell you, it can cost you more than you thought. So make sure you've got a good blend, okay, of being able to make your own leads for sure. Powerful. I'm a big proponent of that. And for those of you that don't know how to make your own Facebook leads, my goodness, huge help to you. If you're that right person, if you need help with that, reach out jasonfinalexpense.com. I've got an amazing partner in the business that can help you propel yourself into the Facebook lead, okay, self-generating arena and can help you get great buyer intent, but not going too low of buyer intent that you don't get the acquisition, okay? The last thing you want to do is to be in a position where you get really low intent leads and then you're like, crud, I did get leads, but does it matter if you don't acquire your client? Well, probably not so much. So make sure that you know how to make your own Facebook leads if that's something that you're being led to go do, but make sure that you increase your buyer intent, turn it up so that your cost per acquisition will actually be less. Buyer intent will help you, okay? It will decrease the amount of time that you spend on the phones and it will help you increase your revenue, okay? You need real returns, not just leads. This is not about having cannon fodder. This is about capitalizing on every call. So when you do call these sweet clients, whether it's Facebook leads or any other lead platform, my goodness, make sure that you're using good proven power scripts, not free Frankenstein scripts out there. I've done telesales and insurance combined 20 plus years. My goodness, two decades. If you need help, reach out jasonfinalexpense.com, but be careful, okay? Be careful with these super low intent leads. You get what you pay for, everyone. Even if you're self-generating your own Facebook leads, when you're paying 68 cents, like one of my agents has done, 68 cents per lead, got 51 plus leads. Amazing, right? You're like, woohoo! Six appointments preset. This is phenomenal. It doesn't matter if you don't acquire the customer. This is all about, okay, customer acquisition, all right? So don't always get excited about cheap, easy, or free. Free scripts can hurt you. Free leads can hurt you because they lower what you get paid. Oh my goodness, all right? Sometimes cheap, easy, and free will cost you more than you may know. Increase buyer intent have good leads, and also understand that if you're designing and creating your own Facebook lead campaign, it's great for the right person. But if you're one that like really doesn't have the time to be a professional marketer as well as a professional salesman, it may not be a position for you to dive into yet. Not that it's something that you can't explore later, but right now may not be the right time. You've got to increase your sales skills, get good, get sharp, and then succeed into a marketing space like making your own Facebook leads. It's powerful. And if you need help with that, reach out. I can absolutely help you at jasonfinalexpense.com. Get connected with the right people that will help propel your business to increase buyer intent so that you don't get caught up in, okay, the mess of making your own Facebook leads with low, 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 or almost no buyer intent. How much would you pay if you got $600 of commission, you got advanced 75% of it, so you got $450 deposited in your bank account, don't get cheap on yourself, have good leads, have lots of them, increase your certainty, increase your scalability, and increase your success. I hope this helps you. If you need anything at all, reach out, jasonfinalexpense.com. Have a great night.